Hi guys, this is Wendy from Creation Depot. I am working in my first collab today with Amanda from Tech Lovin' Mom, and I'll link all that in the description below, and I'll have a card at the end of the video. We are talking about Amazon's Alexa, um, also known as the Amazon Echo. And I actually happen to have many different versions of this. Um, they originally came out with this giant Bose speaker on, um, cylinder tube thing and it was awesome we got it when it first came out i was so excited it was one of the first ones to get it and we used the heck out of it and we probably only use it for maybe like 20 percent of its capability um we have added stuff over the years but we have never really kind of gone crazy with it because it fits so well into our lifestyle the way we have it so Amanda is going to talk about all the different things that the Amazon Echo can actually do um, as far as like commands and things and kind of get a little bit more in depth into all of them. And I'm going to talk more about the lists, like how I use lists to actually perpetuate my business. And basically, if you're a mom and you're a tech mom, and even if you're not a tech mom, you know that you just think of things in random places. Like I'll be cleaning up my kids' rooms. I'll be taking stuff upstairs, downstairs, laundry, whatever. And that's when the idea hits me when I have no pen and paper anywhere near me. So what I end up doing is I actually yell out, you know, Hey, I'm going to call it Bob because if I don't say Bob, I'm going to say every, like it's going to set off everything in this house. Right. So I will say, Hey, Bob, add this to such and such list. And I actually wanted to take you through and walk you through how I do that. Now it's, it seems kind of like, well, duh, Wendy, that's how you do it. You know, you say Amazon, Alexa, um, or Alexa, you know, like those are the three wake words, right? Mm -hmm. um, but what ends up happening is, is that you can actually set them up so that they will create lists for you on the fly. Like, let's say you got a new project for it and you realize I don't have a list to kind of segment this. And what ends up happening is you just kind of get this, this gigantic list or you do what I did for a long time and add it to your shopping list and it doesn't do you any good. So I'm gonna show you how to add lists on the fly with Amazon Echo, Alexa. All right, so this is my Alexa brain and it's awesome. So I want you to see here, they've got the two that they give you, the shopping and the to-do list, which is great, but not nearly segmented enough when you have 50 billion things going on in your mom life. So I wanted to show you kind of a walkthrough of how I organized my stuff as I was going through. And, you know, if you don't have this screen bookmarked, this is just like the, the um, online access to your uh, Amazon account, right? Like your Alexa account. And having this bookmarked and looking at it every single day is kind of a must. Yeah, you probably have 50 million other to-do list things, but having this where you can just kind of be like, okay, what were all the randoms that I got to collect before I can actually do my to-do list for the day, right? This is where they end up going. Um, once you get in the habit of using this, it really does help you. Um, so these are the first two that come with it, the shopping and the to-do list. And then underneath that, I've got Creation Depot, which is the name of my business. And then I've got Christmas, Walmart, Meadow Farms. Um, that is still a hangover from July when I was trying to work on my garden. Um, then blog post ideas, salad fixings, hardware, garden, dollar store, taco Tuesdays. Literally, you can make a list out of anything. And um, I like, for example, the taco Tuesdays. We do Taco Tuesdays every Tuesday in our house. And when we were first getting into the habit and first decided it was something we wanted to do, I would always forget one thing, whether it was the refried beans or if it was the soft tacos or the mini taco boats or whatever random thing we had to have for our tacos. I would just forget it all the time. So I made myself a list, right? I probably don't need that anymore, but just to show you how it works. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click into a list that I created. And then when we're done, I'll tell you how, actually how to create it. You click on it and it has a list of the things that I have randomly yelled or entered into this thing. Um, you can enter stuff really easily. I can say like, hi to everyone. There you go. Right. It's in there. Um, but like you can see, I got like send Melissa my December statements because it's now January. Um, follow up with T10, email Ryan, log out, um, log. This is what I want to show you. Log next Tuesday. It is a voice recognition software. It is not 100%. That said, vlog next Tuesday. Um, so as you can see, like one, I didn't get it done. And two, it didn't 
quite get it correctly, but it got close, right? Like it's close enough that it's going to trigger what your memory was for what you were trying to do as you were carrying a crazy amount of laundry up the stairs. Like that's what this is for. And you can say very specifically, when you already have the list, you can say, Alexa, please add XYZ to my Creation Depot list. And I'll do it. I was partially waiting for it to pick up downstairs. Um, I have a loft. And then the way that you create a list is you can think of something that you need to make a list for. You could be like, oh gosh, Alexa, I need five new markers to add to my school list. And it will do two things. It will create the list called school list and it will add the five markers to that list. So it does it on the fly. So if you've just got ideas swarming in your head and you can't really stop what you're doing and you just need to shout out the answer, some version of that voice recognition software will get recorded. And that's what makes it so awesome. So like I said, I want to give a shout out to Amanda over at Tech Love and Mom for her to actually go through and show you all the different, not everything, because there's like 70,000 commands, but the most prevalent ones um, to kind of go through and walk you through all that stuff. But this is specifically lists. This is how you organize and manage your lists. And then to delete stuff, you literally just click on it and hit delete. Or you can check a whole bunch of stuff and then delete over here. Or if you just check a bunch of stuff and you change lists, it'll go away when you go back to it. Ta-da, all gone. And you actually see the completed stuff. So if you goof, <laughs> you can go back and do it or you can just delete all. And that's all there is to it. It's super, super intuitive. I will show you one trick that I've noticed and I really wish they would fix it because it does mess me up every single time. So I'm on the Windows machine and I am looking at my list and I want to print it out because I'm going to a place that has really spotty Wi-Fi, right? So I hit print. Oh, look, there's nothing there. Don't fret. Hit cancel. Hit it again. Boom. It works. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but there it goes. And it will print. It will print correctly. So that's what you're looking at with that. Just a little weird glitch thing. And, you know, given how long I've had this, I kind of thought they would fix it by now, but it's still an issue. So, but that's it. That's lists. Super easy, super intuitive. And once you start using them, you will never stop. And you'll get what I get where you have 50 million lists in your, in your list line. So, and I don't think that there's a limit just go until, you know, you can't, but honestly, once you get to a certain point, you're going to overload yourself anyway, and then the list will become not useful. So just kind of, you know, use it as part of your daily routine to kind of go back and grab everything and make it into one actual to-do list that's going to help you and do things. Like I don't use this to do my planning. I use Trello or I use Google um, Sheets or I use anything um, kind of more, or even Asana, just different versions. But as far as getting stuff out of my brain while I'm trying to be a mom at the same time, this works really well. So that's it. I hope you guys have a good one. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, now I'm gone. I'll see you later. Bye.